I want them to walk out the door and say, oh my gosh, I just saw something in a way I didn't think about it before. This museum, this building, has been open for about 10 years, and it's the art museum for the University of Texas. It's considered one of the greatest university art museums in the country, and one of the great art museums, truthfully, in Texas, in the U.S. And we decided to reinstall the whole permanent collection, which is on our second floor. The main gallery building has two floors, and the first floor is an area that we dedicate to our, um, mostly to our temporary exhibitions. The upstairs is our permanent collection and we continue to build it but there's areas that we have strengthened. American art is one of them. Latin American art. The Blanton has been a leader in Latin American art for about 40 years. Actually this museum was the first museum in the country to have a curator dedicated to that area's specialty. We have a wonderful collection of European art um, and we have an amazing collection of prints and drawings. From the previous museum to today we almost doubled the amount of art we put up by just being smart about how we were putting the walls up. So we were able to add Native American. We were able to add a new film gallery. So if somebody told you that they were here last week and I've seen the Blanton, I promise you, you should encourage them to come back because I promise you that it'll be different when they come back. There'll be a new work up, a new gallery rotated, and we want to keep it fresh and fun and alive and smart for everybody. visitors come to see Giant, uh, what you're going to see is a three-channel video installation made by the Austin and Berlin-based artists Teresa Hubbard and Alexander Birchler. It's named after the movie Giant, and what it presents is there was a mansion called Riata that was built just uh, specifically for Giant and kind of abandoned after the filming and left basically to rot out there. And so what you see in the film are kind of the skeletal remains of the Giant set, and so you see bugs and birds, there's a rainstorm that comes through, and so it's really being kind of subjected to the elements. It's an investigation of, uh, of Texas, really, and how the landscape of Texas functions, you know, both in reality and in these kind of um, cinematic framings. I'm really delighted that we're presenting an exhibition that features art from South Asia. The stories are fantastic, and the paintings uh, range from the 16th to the 19th century. We wanted visitors to the exhibition to have really a multi-sensory experience, um, and to really be able to get a flavor of Indian culture, religion, and art. And uh, part of the exhibition design is to have music coming into the exhibition space where the Ragamala paintings are. We also built a performance tent in one corner of the exhibition and we have a UT student, Aruna Karod, who has 10 years of Bharatanatyam dance experience. I think people are just delighted by the colors, the sounds, the music, the dance. It's, a, it's really a range of experiences that we're trying to offer. Everybody loves stories. And it's great to have an opportunity to learn some new stories that maybe are from another culture. so much joy to see students walking through here and we just wanted to make it the richest, most beautiful, kind of most powerful experience, most fun experience. Whether it's our world that we live in today or history from the past, I want it to be thought provoking, but I also want it to be rich. I want people to be stimulated, you know, really enjoy the beauty of art and the beauty of the experience of being in a museum. I promise you it'll be fun and it'll be a rich experience. And if you don't even understand how rich and fun it is in the future, you'll look, look back and appreciate that you have this jewel on your campus and it's yours.